Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this episode we're going to do clustering with image data, only we're going to do a whole data set. We're not going to be using CV2 for a single image like we did in last episode. So be advised guys, um, this episode we're going to compress them and we're not going to use CV2. We're going to use Keras for pre-processing. Anyways guys, um, check out that video and also this this data set is originally a binary classification data set. You see the two classes right here? Train in a test folder. Yeah, as you can see the last three episodes have been about Thailand. I'm interested in visiting there in the future. It's kind of why I chose this data set also. Anyways guys, if you guys are new to my channel be advised Check out my SageMaker playlist, including MLOps with SageMaker pipelines. Every single model you can think of, hyperparameter tuning, getting models approved for production, it's all there. Also, check out my reinforcement learning playlist, and check out convolutional neural networks. Check out that whole playlist, too. I've got, I'll teach you how to do convolutional neural networks for binary and multi-class and compute them. Compute them, you know, with MP argmax you do uh, for multi class and uh, MP round you can also do for binary class, but let's not get into uh, convolutional neural networks and predicting new images with them. Anyways, guys, um, if you're new to my channel, I've got pretty much got everything. Um, let's get started. Let's jump to the end. Okay, as you can see, let's skip uh, towards the end for a second. As you can see, the true K is right here. It's at three. There's the elbow. Originally, this is two classes. However, I found the true K was three. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Import these libraries right here. Unzip it using that. The file path, unzip, exclamation mark, and a collab, Jupyter 2. By the way, guys, you guys should um, get a Google collab. I recommend it because your virtual environment's pre-installed. So is TensorFlow and all that. Versus Jupyter, you got to install all of that in a virtual environment. Using Conda or PIP. That's why I recommend uh, Colab. Everything's pre-installed in a virtual environment. Okay, as you can see, we're going to be doing the train. That's just for fun, the test right here. And the original clusters I was going to set at 4, but it was really 3. Yeah, I put the 3 down here. And clusters 3. Originally, I was going to do that for fun. Anyways, guys, the data path equals I am dear. Dictionary ls image starts with image ls append classes. There we go. And then the image shape, as you can see. Image equals, this is where we compress it. We reshape it on this index right here using all that. Image equals, remember you got image from over here, MP array, because we got to compute them into NumPy arrays. Remember, NumPy is scientific computing. PLT IM read. You see, we don't use CV2 IM read because it's many pictures and you can't do it with CV2. Don't even try. Anyways, guys, um, this is what we do to find the true K right here. Fit the image, remember, between 1 and 11, this range. And here we go. Just like I mentioned earlier in the video, the true K is 3 because the elbow. That's really not an elbow. There's no bend. Okay, random state. 
fit image, predict image, Y cluster, columns equals clusters. There we go. And guys, just so you know, um, you can also, with pandas, you can merge these. Let's say you wanted to label them. You can merge them, too. Check out my other video where I teach you how to merge using the DNA uh, clusters, where you label your own uh, raw DNA with clusters. Check out that. Also, check out my leukemia where we uh, cluster tabular data and we do patient segmentation. Check out that other video. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to be taking a little break for a while. I'll be back, don't worry. Um, just wanted to do this quick video because a lot of people, you know, don't know how to deal with uh, clustering images that are um, more than one, let alone a whole data set. So I just showed you a cool short amount of code trick. There you go. Anyways, guys, um, yes, I am going to be taking a break. However, um, I'm going to be back in a little while. Um, if you guys could please leave comments telling me what kind of videos you guys want. That helps me a lot. Also, guys, hit like if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please share. And also, guys, I want to let you guys know I appreciate all y'all who have been watching this whole time. Also, guys, um... Just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to keep this channel going. And, and uh, I kind of depend on y'all for ideas. You see, because I've got over 150 videos. Yes. And uh, they're all doing different stuff. Mostly different subjects. Speaking of which, guys, check out that video where I did anomaly detection on raw DNA using PCA. We also do class separation in that video as well. Check it out. Anyways, guys. Um, uh, I hope you like my video. Stay tuned. And also, guys, please share. Because I'm sure if you guys are here already, there's something else you guys might need. Check out more videos. Also, guys, um, there's something else uh, somebody else might need that you know. Because uh, it really helps me out a lot if you guys share. Anyways, guys, um, stay tuned. And uh, don't worry, I'm going to keep up this channel. I appreciate all of y'all. And uh, next video, I uh, haven't decided yet. I'm not going to get back on the cloud um, till I get more subscribers and more viewers. I've been on the cloud a long time ago. Speaking of which, check out that database video where I teach you guys on uh, AWS using Redshift. Anyways, guys, I appreciate all y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.